it's long. This might be two videos. So first of all, I want to give a disclaimer. Do you want me to tell you lies? Do you want me to tell you the truth? You know, based on the information that I have, because truth may all may change. You know, uh, a truth is the truth. Why you know that truth? But when more truth comes, that truth is obsolete because there is more truth to the and adds to the picture. So that's why I always reserve the right to update uh, my resume, so to speak, of who I am because. I am who I am, but as more re revelations and information come, I have to add that too because I can't stick with what used to be true. So everything I do is in good faith, intent to be truthful. You know, but like I said, you know, um, I don't know it all. That's why I said, as I know better, I do better. You know, I have no intent to defraud, deceive, lie to you, and anything. Or anyone. I don't intend to lie or cheat or do none of that stuff. I just provide information that is established and I apply that. Okay, let's. I've heard some, you know, I brought up an interesting um, uh, topic. And then, you know, I've heard uh, some in the Morris community bring up Ruth a lot, right? From the scriptures. And then I came up, let, let me read this for you first before I go into it. This is from Wikipedia. It's called One Drop Rule. One Drop Rule is a social and legal principle of racial classification that has historically from uh, historically prominent in the United States in the 20th century. It asserted that any person with even an ancestor of a sub-Saharan sub African ancestry, one drop, and they, right here they say one drop of black blood is considered black Negro are colored in historical terms. One drop. And of course, you know, I don't, I don't um, subscribe to the, those color law terms, but I'm just using what they said. Because you know that's not a nationality. Uh, let's go here. Start off right here. Uh, John 7, 38. And he that believed on me, as the scriptures have said, out of his belly, shall flow rivers of living water. Basically, you're going to have the truth. You're going to say the truth going to make you free. You say you're going to have the truth because if you believe on him in the scriptures, they say, let's see what the scriptures say. Deuteronomy 33 and 29. Happy art thou, O Israel, who is likened unto thee, O people, saved by Yahuwah, the shield of thy help, and who is the sword of thy excellence? And thine enemies shall be found liars unto thee, and thou shalt tread upon their high places. Ruth 4 and 10. Remember the one drop rule. Because what I'm saying this is, I'm not trying to prove a point, but this, these thoughts came to me as I put these scriptures and information together, and I came to this conclusion. I'm going to see if you come to that conclusion. Remember the one drop rule, right? Let's say if all the Israelites... None of them were so-called black, right? But the Moabites, you know, historically, I guess, believed to be a so-called Negro black woman, right? Let's see what happens. Even though I still subscribe that all the Israelites are either are Yehudi in there, they look like me and you. That's, that's just my uh, conclusion based on all the information that has been provided. You know, so... But let's say if they didn't look like me and you, but this this one woman who is a Moabite, sub-Saharan African bloodline, look look what she did to the uh, to the family of the Israelites by one drop. If we going by that, if we believe that that nobody else was uh, so-called Negro. Ruth 410. Moreover, Ruth, the Moabitess, the wife of Malin, and that's that's ironic too, because that name Malin, that was the name of my natural father, dad. At least they call no man father, except your heavenly father. So that was my natural biological dad. His name was Malin too, that's why I found that uh, ironic. Have I purchased to be uh have I purchased to be my wife? 
to raise up the name of the dead upon his inheritance, that the name of the dead be not cut off from among his brethren and from the gate of his place. You are my witnesses this day. Boaz um, was, was basically the family of Malin, you know, that, you know that's, what he, that's what he did. Ruth 1 and 16, and Ruth said, Entreat me not to leave thee, or to return from falling after thee, for whatsoever thou goest, I will go, and where thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people, and thy elo shall be my elo. You see, this wasn't about skin color. To, you know, I'm just suggesting you look into it. This wasn't about skin color, the Moabs and the Israelites, because they were neighbors, especially in uh, Judah. You know, that's uh, Judah or uh, 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 Jerusalem, Moab. It was about she put it, she made it claimly. Your people should be my people, and your elo should be my elo. It was all about the worship of the elo. You know, a lot of the uh, Moabites didn't didn't worship elo. But Ruth is a Moabite. There's another scripture too. Uh, it, it called, I, I think I had it, but uh, you can find it. It, it. it mentions that Ruth was a Mo all you gotta do is read Ruth. It mentions that Mo a Ruth was a Moabitess in several locations, these two. Let's see who Ruth is. This is according to the Etymology Dictionary. Ruth, female, fem uh, proper name, biblical ancestor of David, from Hebrew, Ruth, probably a contraction of with. Companion, friend, fellow woman. Old Testament book tells her story. Hmm. So that one drop got into King David. All right. This is not to antagonize anyone. This is just bringing out information that's relatively available for all to go and research themselves. So this is not against anyone. I'm just reading what's provided. Let's see who King David was. David, a masculine, proper name, an Old Testament name of the second king of Israel and Judah, an author of Psalms. From Hebrew, Dawi, literally darling, loved, friend, beloved friend. The name was common in England and Scotland by the 12th century, but it was popular much earlier in Wales. A nickname for Dawi, hence surname Dawson, Dawkins. See, that's later on, but the original in the text talks about King David, the king of Israel and Judah. So that means that one drop that one drop infected Israel and Judah. Okay. Solomon. Masculine, proper name, biblical name of David's son, king of Judah and Israel and wise of all men from Greek, Solomon, from Hebrew. Shalom, from Shalom, peaceful, from Shalom, peace, the Arabic form of Solomon, the common medieval form of Solomon, goes on. Uh, Solomon was used in Geneva Bible and King James Bible, used uh, elusively for a wise ruler since 1550. Now, Ruth's uh, stepmom, name was Naomi, female, proper name, biblical mother-in-law of Ruth, from Hebrew, Naomi, literally, my delight. From Naomi, pleasantness, delightfulness. From stem of Naomi, was pleasant, was lovely. Now, let's see something else. This this is the uh, the book of the generation that says Jesus Christ, but we know uh, Yosha Mashiach. The son of David. You know, of course he wasn't David's son. That is saying David was, he came from David's bloodline. Which was Ruth's bloodline. 
the son of Abraham. Abraham's bloodline. Abraham begot Isaac, and Isaac begot Jacob, and Jacob begot Judas and, and, and his brethren. And Judas begot Phares and Zara and Tamar, and Phares begot Ezram, and Ezram begot Aram, and Aram begot Amadad, and Amadad begot Nasam, and Nasam begot Salman. Sal and Salman begot Boaz, and we found out that Boaz married Ruth, right? Of Rachel, because his, his mother was Rachel, and Boaz begot Obed of Ruth, the Moabite woman. And Obed begot Jesse, and Jesse begot, begot King David, David the king, and David the king begot Solomon of her that had been the wife of Urias, and Solomon begot. So that means, let's say if nobody else at this point, let's say if uh, Abraham, none of these people were. That had no had, didn't have that one drop. This for argument's sake. But after Boaz begot Obed and a roof, that one drop came in. And Obed begot Jesse. Because uh, Ruth was Obed's mother. And Obed begot Jesse. So now everybody is tainted with that one blood now. So everybody else is. I'm just saying if we went by it and nobody before her was had that one drop. But everybody after that got that one drop. Obed of Ruth, and Obed begot Jesse, and Jesse begot King David, David the king, and David the king begot Solomon of her that had been the wife of Urias, and Solomon begot Robam, and Robam begot Obed, Abea, and Abea begot Asa, and Asa begot Josephat, and Josephat begot Joram, and Joram begot Ozias. Okay, I'm going to go on because I'm running out of time. I'm going to go on the way down and keep on going. It says, and, and, and then the final, final part says, And Jacob begot Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Yahushua HaMashiach, called the Christ. So according to the scriptures, it says that no man was his father. But we're going by the scriptures. You know, not what men think, but we're going to say what the scriptures say. Because he didn't have a father, because the Abba was his father, that means his bloodline came through uh, Miriam, which go all the way back to Ruth. So... I don't know, let's see. Shalom. <laughs>